Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something that I don't usually do on my channel. I think I've done two flip throughs, but we are going to be doing a flip through of this beautiful coloring book that was released not that long ago. And it is Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale Coloring Book by Christine Karen. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to show other choices for grayscale. I had done a video in my um, adult coloring for beginner series and I featured a grayscale book in that first video that I did and I suggested that grayscale would be wonderful for beginners that are just coming into this wonderful hobby of coloring and then I did a video where I showed you how I color grayscale and it was one of Christine Karen's gorgeous grayscale images that I used in that video. I'll make sure that is linked up in the upper right hand corner for y'all to view if you would like to see that. I'll make sure both of those videos are linked. So if you enjoy seeing videos like this, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on so that you always get notified every time I post a new video. And please do also make sure that you like this video because that really helps my channel out a lot and I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into this flip through. So again, this is Fairy and Fantasy. It's a grayscale coloring book. It's by Christine Karen. Now, this just came in the mail, so I will tell you that I've not even looked through it myself yet. So you will get my first impressions reaction right on camera. <laughs> You've got your title page. And as you can see, as I said earlier, this book is not very old. It was just released recently in July of 2020. So this is her newest release. And you've got your title page. It says this book belongs to, and you've got some adorable little birds on here. And you can color this in and put your name on it if you wanted to. Then you've got this adorable little elf on the front cover. Isn't she cute? And she's all in color. That's adorable. Okay, so as in all of her books, she gives titles to all of her images that are in the book in the order, I believe, that they are placed in the book. So let's go ahead and see. This one's called Fairy Ring so pretty it seems the grayscale in this in these books might be a little bit lighter I guess we'll see as we flip through but this one is called fairy ring it also has the title of the image down in the lower corner look how pretty oh my gosh I love her artwork I love these elves this one is called wind whispers This one is called Grace Fairy. I've seen a lot of people already having colored this one and shared it in Facebook groups and it's gorgeous. And this one is just adorable. I wanted to um, get this one because I wanted to be able to do some fairy wings on grayscale and do a tutorial on that because so many people had asked me about fairy wings. So this page will be perfect for that. This one is called Fay Messengers. Beautiful. I love the look on her face and the way her eyes are. This one is called Fox Rider. Then we have Forest Sprite. Fairy Magic. Oh, her wings are gorgeous. I cannot wait to do some of these fairy wings. Raven Guide. How many of you color men or men fairies in particular? I don't color a lot of men. I think I've done one picture that was of a man, and I think I showed it in my last video, actually. Here is Water Nymph. Just beautiful. Oh my gosh, this would be perfect for an acrylic, um, an acrylic wash. I'm already seeing tutorials coming, y'all. 
Okay, and this one is called Unicorn Princess. She definitely looks like a unicorn princess. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, and the unicorn is not realistic. Um, it's kind of cartoony in a way and has a gorgeous necklace. This will leave way for lots of gold, it looks like. Then we have Baby Dragon. This one is Mr. Vampire, for those of you that are into vampires. T Tides of Time, beautiful. This one is called Odette, I think. Maybe that's her first name. Unless my eyes are bad and I'm reading that wrong. <laughs> This one is Cowgirl Mermaid. Interesting. Look at her on her seahorse. That's awesome. This one is Troll Girl. I've seen so many people color this one and they have gotten so creative. I can't wait to color this one. Some of the things that some of the people that have shared their images have done with the skin on this are truly amazing. Fairy Tale Forest. Cookie Elves. This is so cute for Christmas time. Oh my goodness. I think that's going to be one of my Christmas pages that I color. Oh, and this looks like a really nice, easy, um, easy, really fast coloring if you didn't want to spend a lot of time doing something. And you've got a whole lot of background space on this too. What a gorgeous image. It's called Seedling. This is the same one that was actually on the front cover that had all the color in it that was already colored in on, I think it was the title page maybe. Then we've got Lilies and Pearls. She's beautiful. This one is called Dear Diary. Kitty Cuddles, how cute. Oh, this is adorable. Bedtime Story. She really has something for everybody in this book. And then this is the back page that shows all of her previous books that are available to you. And I don't know if many of you know, but she has books available in grayscale. And then she has a line art version. So... Okay, so I think that is all. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this book is I do not color the images directly in the book on these because the Amazon, let me see, does, has Amazon improved their paper on her books? No, they haven't. It's very smooth. I don't know. It might work for markers if you put something behind the pages, but I don't do a lot of coloring with markers. It might be cool to do a page with markers and then come over it into your shading with pencil. That would be a really great idea. But what I'm going to do is like I showed you in my last video, again, I'll make sure that I have that linked up in the right hand corner for y'all to see. But I take this tan tone paper by Strathmore and I copy the image from the coloring book and scan it into my computer and then I put it on this tan tone paper and this paper is wonderful because it's all perforated. You could take it out, use a paper cutter and cut it to the size that would go through your printer that would be the same eight and a half by 11 as the coloring book. And then you've got your grayscale image on tan paper. I am in the process of trying to find out which paper. This paper is wonderful. When I tell you that this paper works like a dream with Prismacolors, I am not telling you a story. This paper is amazing with Prismacolors. Let me show you this. I did this. This is a Christine Karen image and I'm working on this. This is my image put on tan tone paper, this paper here. And I colored this bird yesterday. And the way that the Prismacolors go down on this paper, like butter is just so amazing. And with the tan paper, you could actually Take your white Prismacolor, which is already so opaque, and look how I did this flower. I actually created a white flower. If you would like a tutorial on how I created this white flower, I would be happy to do that for you. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know. 
but this is where I'm at. This is with this. This is where I'm at with this image. This is the one that I had showed you all how to color hair and how to color grayscale in a previous video. I'll make sure that is linked for you. And everything that you've seen in this video will also be down in the description box below. But like I was saying, what I'm trying to do right now is I actually wrote to Strathmore because I wanted to find out which paper is exactly like this paper, but in white so that I could actually print on it and do some line art with my Prismacolors because when I tell you this paper is amazing, it is truly amazing. So it is better than any paper that I have ever colored in and it doesn't have too much tooth because some of the papers that have too much tooth I don't like coloring on because I don't want to sit there and lay layer after layer after layer and still see white. I like to have all the paper covered with color and I don't want to spend I'm already a slow color so I don't want to spend that much time but I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this flip through if you would like this coloring book it will be linked down in the description I'll also link the tan tone paper down in the description because so many people have asked me about that and I've had a lot of people ask me about where I got this image from. And this is in her first fairies book and I'll also link that down below. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Happy coloring. Bye.